Well, I mean, a lot of people are really upset about it. And they're worried, and they're hearing things. And look, they've been through this before. People have heard these promises before, and they haven't been kept. And what I'm trying to explain to people is that the way we're going to guarantee that these things happen is by saying that no one who, people that have violated our immigration laws that are illegally here, they're not going to be able to become legal permanent residents. They're not going to get a green card. Or, they can't even apply for one unless all five of them. But they will are. ultimately get citizenship, which is, as you well know, what is roiling no, a lot of conservatives. Not. You can't become a citizen unless you're a legal permanent resident first. You right. cannot become a citizen uh, without a legal permanent residency. And you cannot, get, you cannot even apply for legal permanent residency until all five of these things happen. How much did the fact that the CBO said that this could help the deficit by eating a trillion dollars into the deficit. Did that, did that help you with your argument at all with conservatives, fiscal conservatives? Well, I think it helps in terms of allaying some of the fears that people have that this would cost the taxpayer money. We already have a 17, close to $17 trillion debt, mm -hmm. and people don't want to add to that, rightfully so. And if this bill added to the debt, I wouldn't support it, or I would change it to make sure that it didn't. Uh, but we also have always understood, and one of the reasons why we're in favor of modernizing our legal immigration system is that it would be good for the American economy. Thank you, sir. Thanks. I'll let you go. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks.